small island environments can be unforgiving. And organisms that arrive here must adapt to these new conditions or perish. Lizards of the Mediterranean have found unique ways to survive the harsh conditions of island life. On the mainland, where resources are abundant, lizards feed mostly on insects and arthropods. These meals, however, are scarce on islands, and the lizards that first arrived here were forced to change their lifestyle. Many individuals were not prepared for the change. For thousands of years, competition was fierce, and in each generation, the survivors had certain heritable characteristics that allowed them to stay alive to reproduce. This natural selection has led to body changes that allow island lizards to utilize a completely new diet. Plants have become a primary part of the lizard's diet. It's common to see them on flowers, eating petals or drinking nectar. By traveling from flower to flower, these small creatures unwittingly pollinate a variety of island plants, making them some of the only reptile pollinators in the world. What's more, they love fruit. By eating fruit and defecating seeds elsewhere, Mediterranean island lizards have become the primary seed dispersers for many local plant species. But island lizards have evolved to use yet another source of food, and this adaptation does not benefit both parties. With a shortage of high-protein meals, adult island lizards often eat juveniles or cannibalize eggs. Cannibalism is a harsh reality for island lizards in the Mediterranean. But a bigger problem threatens the future of these lizards and possibly the future of plants that rely on them for pollination and seed dispersal. Many lizard species are on the brink of extinction or have already disappeared, threatening the balance of some island ecosystems. If we are to preserve this balance, we must protect these remarkable reptiles.